It's definitely the stronger team, kind of the uh, the team to beat here between the two. And then what? We got Maggie and Taros. And of course, Maggie, I believe, is a crossover skin for Jala. So that means we're going to be getting, you know, that high force, low defense, glass cannon type gameplay. But on the other side, we have yet another Olgrim and Taros again. Looks like there's something in that South American water that says that Olgrim is the character to play in the 2v2 space. We'll see how well Nagi's able to do it alongside his teammate News right now. News with a nice down sig gonna launch Selen, but Selen's still living. No one quite in that kill percent. Okay, here we go. Gotta be careful here. Sare coming out. No one's gonna fall quite yet, but there have been so many Axe Sares oh, connecting. That one's gonna do it, yeah. Go, but Nagi oh. just cleaning the entire map up. Lazuli still living, able to avoid the cider. News starting to fall on the left side. That was a little uh, scary there for a moment, but he gets up safely. Okay. Here we go. Neutral air coming out here. Stomp Sayer not going to connect. And we just have like two separate 1v1s going on the stage, right? Like we just see on the right side of the stage, Lazuli just won that 1v1, finding that down to getting the KO on Nagi, and then decided to collapse for the 2v1. But other than that, these guys have kind of just been uh -oh. spacing it out. Uh -oh. Nice. The double ground pound, the help out from Nagi. News able to get back up safely. You got to thank the teammate for that one because News still alive. Selen, meanwhile, took a lot of damage for all that. The Nair going to take him out. Nice. Okay, and Lazuli. Making quite a bit of contact with these signatures. Oh, Ooh. gets caught by the end sig though. Should KO? Oh, yeah. There. No. No, oh, he's oh, still oh. good. Nagi's covering that wall there. Tom oh, Sider's the wrong person. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big mistake. Cause usually you land the stomp and you're like, ah, that's my teammate. I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> but also like your muscle memory, like there's. There's a dopamine rush that happens when you hit the stomp. <laughs> like sometimes your hands just do it. Yo, he's I mean it's a bull. He saw red. He just he has yeah. a swing on it. Lazuli, you gotta give him credit, able to clean up that stock, keep this one relatively close. If they can take out Nagi, this is definitely doable for the blue team. And here we oh, go. Oh yeah. wow. Sick play. Oh man. I find it hard oh. to believe that was intentional, but I'm going to pretend it was. Able to follow <laughs> up that end sig off the dare, but a side air, and News and Nagi take game number one. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was honestly n n not too bad, all things considered. I mean, looking at the damage across the board, right, it looks like you had roughly 450 from both members of Team Blue. And then on the other side, it was like close enough where it didn't feel like, like even though the stocks were a little bit different, it was just kind of like, eh. It could have gone either way, I felt like. It's always a matter of, like, who dies first on which team, and then, you know, it kind of snowballs a little bit from there. But there we go. Seven SIGs coming out from News, 43% accuracy. Lazuli, though, threw out six and got 50%, which is not bad at all. Yeah, Lazuli able to put out a decent amount of damage. They're kind of the person that I am keeping my eye on the most because, of course, coming in with that base three defense, likely in the defense stance mm -hmm. to go up to four, like... That's a, a very uh, volatile character. It can do very well because, of course, you get a bunch of boosts in attack stats. Or it could do terrible because you got no defense and you just get taken out early. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Yo, 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 wait. Who's coming to They're win? Good? Who's going to win? Okay, we're all living. <laughs> we're all living. I was so... It, it's scary. You got two hammers going off out stage. Like, I expect someone to not make it back, but somehow they both survived. I think News giving some respect out there. You saw him immediate disengage. Able to come back up. Nagi with that sidelight actually going to help out News oh. a little bit. He's still going in. Oh, down here is his teammate. He's still going in, but Selen gets the knockout. Oh, and a nice turnaround as well to make sure that you trade oh! something. Oh, you gave him the chase dodge. He had no more recovery options. You can see the sweat drops on his character model. Oh, man. That has to feel bad because you lost your stock and he's still alive with three. Yeah, the second those sweat beads came out, it was a little too late. Selen was committing for the edge guard, but nice knockout for Lazuli. And News has got to be careful here. Very damaged on the second stock. Blue team has a real possibility of getting a nice lead if they oh. take him out. Oh my gosh, this team effort mm -hmm. edge guard on Lazuli is absolutely brutal. Like, Lazuli lived, but not without taking, like, a boatload of damage. Yeah. Definitely helps him out. Nice spot dodge, but Nagi again with a side air and oh. Lazuli with the turnaround. Opportunity oh. here, but the neutral light goes the wrong direction. The ground pound, the weapon toss, and Nagi. Oh, can oh, you chase Dodge? Wait, okay. <laughs> I was crazy. I was like, wow, if he manages to live here, that you are a god. <laughs> like, I, there's nothing else I can say here. 
Oh man, be careful here though off stage. Lazuli going crazy Ooh. on the unarmed sticks right now. Picks up the sword and says Excelsior. It's not gonna land though. They're gonna go ahead and push their way back to the stage. That was great. Oh wow. Nagi with what the exhausted heck? recovery. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Didn't expect that. That's like unreactable. That exhausted recovery is it's so instant. I swear to God. I swear it's got shorter startup time than like the regular recovery. The actual one, right? Yeah. yeah. Nice movement from the red team to avoid both of those options from the blue team. Nice. But the down sig makes it so that news is no longer going to play here in game number two. And Nagi's got to do the 1v2. I don't know. Maggie kind of hitting different. <laughs> There's a reason. Living and hitting. Had to join Brawlhalla a little bit later, you know. Had to raise up the KC a little bit. Oh, man. Yo, Nagi can't oh. get anything. Can't even oh land. Nagi has not touched the ground in quite a while. Can't touch See the wall. Ya. Man, I don't even know what the answer was for Nagi there. Like, Nagi just got hit so many times in a row that you could see Nagi was like, well, I'm going to start swinging now because otherwise <laughs> people just keep hitting me. And then he swung and there was no one there. Like, it just has to feel bad. It was like, oh, well, was trying different options, right? That's what you do when, like, one thing's not working. You try something else. And here you can see it. Uh, I'm going to swing. Oh, it missed. Uh, I'm going to swing again. Uh, it missed. And then you can't make it back. It's just uh, Nagi got caught up in a Marvel combo. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> they dropped the combo and he goes, okay, time to mash. Oh, wait, that was, like, the worst thing I could do. Like... And That's then what the combo there. starts again. Why well, there's there is there is no way. Oh man, News and Nagi. They uh they they're having a tough time right now. Lazuli and Selen really, really showing up today, especially this this Jala, right? You were saying, and you can see it here, the defense stance coming out. We actually have the deck stance from Selen, which is like usually you don't see that on Taros or like really any axe or rocket lance type ish character right like ogrim wouldn't go into that stance hammer players generally don't go in that stance you say that but like news is also in the deck stance which is i'm like why though <laughs> like, I, like I still it's so weird because uh, both for taros and ogrim it's a 50 50 split between go up to four or go down to two the two you, there's right? no in between yeah. like you just you pick one of the two stats and uh no one has really come out with a, a clear reason. I know for Hammer players, usually like the Taros will do it for the stat up, but it doesn't matter as News is already out. Holy cow, blue team starting off strong. Oh, what nice interrupt. Nice, nice yeah. interrupt, man. He was about to get yeeted off stage. Oh, still off stage though. That ground pound almost connecting selling, going for blood. Gotta be careful here. Blue now team's gonna feeling win. good. They're just moving. Oh man, then you get hit by backside of axe recovery, bro. That'll hit the best player in the world. Like that that that, that joint is good. It'll catch a lot of people off guard, work out really well. Blue team still sitting on their first stocks. Lazuli not going to get taken out by that side air. Okay, nice. recovery. <laughs> what? What an option. Does the gravity cancel side signature into the stage and it KOs off the bounce on the wall? I mean, lots of damage on a low defense legend and it has that forward movement. It was, it's definitely one that you don't see a lot from the Ulgrims. I'll say that much. It's a cheeky play, too, because, like, Ogrim has to stop a little bit in place before he puts the, the chair down. So yeah. you can dodge a lot of hitboxes with it, too, just because of the timing mix-up. No, but the red team's starting to bring this back, but the wake-up side air. Blue team has been nice. so good about those wake-up side airs to take out the person who gets caught. Oh, 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 man. Gets both of them, goes for the double, because okay. what okay. Taro's player wouldn't? Oh, don't have a lot of options here, but they're able to make it back. Nagi, though, going low, uses the Nair to recover. Maybe a turnaround? No, going to go for Lazuli instead. Go for the oh, Ensig, expecting a panic jump from Lazuli, but Lazuli stays grounded. Red team okay. is struggling here, though. Nagi, close to kill percent. They're going to clean up, but they are very behind. Okay, and I like that. You can see Lazuli jumps a little bit before picking up that weapon to get the maximum time out of the vulnerability there because they're waiting oh. for the partner to come back. And there's a conversion into Whoa. the neutral sig. I don't know what Nagi's going to do. I don't know. Dancing a little bit with death here. Goes for the down air, but he is so close. And the D sig will do it. Selen and Lazuli getting game number three. Currently 2-1 over News and Nagi. Yeah, they're looking good man they they are looking good i'm like extremely excited to see you know how the rest of the set's going off because i mean this could very easily be one of those game fivers you know yeah this uh this has that potential i mean it's news and nagi we're talking about a very strong team 
generally places in the top five of things, but they're struggling right now against Lazuli and Selen. Okay, even taking a look here, you know, everyone did like roughly 400 some odd damage. Lazuli a little bit on the higher end there with the 497, which also tracks because they are playing uh, Jala, but also 16-6. Man, 25% accuracy, so that means that's four landed from Lazuli, but like numbers getting pretty high there still not reaching surus numbers on the friday <laughs> dev stream but <laughs> not quite <laughs> we might get close though because we're seeing news swap over to the azoth definitely gonna be looking for some big swinging six you gotta you gotta point out though that lazuli despite the fact that they uh missed quite a few sigs they were getting some knockouts with Sig, right? Mm -hmm. Like that final KO was a down Sig. And then on the other side, Selen was hitting a lot. I think it was a 70% accuracy on those Tarot Sigs, which hit very hard. So that's big damage dumps that are hitting off those Sig. Yeah, especially if you're on the team that wins and someone has a signature count that high, even though the accuracy is not that great, that means that they're able to threaten the space of those signatures without getting punched too hard often. And that means they have a lot more control over the stage. You can already see hopping oh. there. Nice end sig to catch the landing. Okay. Hold on. Oh, that almost looked like a setup for, for a team combo from Nuzanagi there. Yeah, definitely an improvised one there with that falling neutral air, but still some good damage being put out. Oh. Ooh, News going for the wake up, didn't quite hit it. Ground pound, gonna get beaten out. Both blue team members stuck on the right side. Yeah, I expect if News doesn't throw it at least 26 this game, you're not yeah. playing Azoth. That's what I gotta say. There we go. No, you didn't pick Azoth for the stat line. <laughs> there we go. Sig will work yes. out. Yes. Red team looking all right, trying to take this one to game number five, but the blue team won't take too much to get these knockouts. It's October, man. It's Azoth season. You know, you get the power up. There we go. Side lights there. True conversion coming up from Lazuli there. When you land that side light deep inside like that, you kind of go for the Sayer True follow up. But even with that said, beautiful. Open toss. That, that's, a, that's a Steph Curry for the accuracy, man. That's a clean hit. In threes, but dock advantage to the red team. The side air from Lazuli, just like a quick hop up, and they immediately go for the team combo. Couldn't quite convert. But they're still getting some oh. good damage put out. You see News went for that side take follow-up off of the hammer recovery. Had that hit, that would have been quite a bit of knockback. Just because that move hit so hard, right? Like, the hitbox, not that big. But, man, the force that it packs. Really good. And then we saw just a moment ago, News was doing a gravity cancel down sick. Looked kind of goofy, but it really distracted Lazuli from the fact that Nagi was going to come up and get that knockout. Ellen on the right side. He's got the hammer, so Nagi's going to respect it. Disengage. Nice. Oh! <laughs> Man! What a time to be alive there. That has to feel good if you're selling right there. Getting the daily double with that side signature, and now your team's in the lead. Barely. 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 At this point, you can call it even. Because uh -oh. selling's like. Not oh. anymore! Well. Great bow edge guard from News, and they're looking poised to take this to game number five, but we'll see if Selen can do this 1v2. Definitely has a lot of health to play with. Came in fresh. Oh, that's scary. No ground pound from anyone, though. But yeah, I mean, like, Lazuli didn't even have that much damage, right? And now Selen trying to terrorize it, throws the weapon, disarms themselves, waiting for the next spawn. Where is it at, though? And <laughs> just side lighting, saying, weapon, please spawn, and it's on the opposite <laughs> side of the stage. But somehow Selen's able to get it. Still able to get some good damage out. News going to connect with the down signature. Red team split a little bit. Oh, Might be trying to set up something. Side sick will KO. Punish? This is actually very much so in the realm of possibility. Red team's got to oh, be careful about the stack no up. Oh, he snap. He's got all the weapons. No. <laughs> he it. I thought you were going to starve him from that next weapon. Dag, hold on. Selling, though. Still might be able to make this comeback. What's the sick? Oh. Round pound, and the red team's going to take this to game number five. I don't blame them, though, because it was like, if you look at the spacing for that final ground pound, you can see that Selen had, like, jumped to the left, and it was, like, just on the edge of the ground pound hitbox. I think they were really trying to hold on to their dodge just in case they needed it for the other par partner. But just, like, got a little bit too close. You can see it, like, right here. Yeah. Ah, just, like, just a tip. Man, that sucks. Tried to drift out of that one. Was definitely uh, aware of the fact that they could have just gotten double ground pounded. 13-6, I'll take it. I'll it's not 20, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's still double digits. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's, it's Azoth number. It's not wubs, but it's it'll do. 
Well, see, the real thing is, like, those 13 signatures were 13 less sigs Lazuli could do. Because they got relegated to four sigs in that yeah. game. Like, they did not get an opportunity to throw out all the sigs. Yeah, it's like a monopoly on the sig, sig usage, right? Like, Nagi couldn't even throw out one. <laughs> you know, it's like, I, you, you got to do them all. Because you can only, there's an unwritten rule where if you do more than, like, 25 in a game, you're going to get, you're going to get cursed, so. There you go. Production's having fun with uh, the math on this one. They're very excited about the fact that Lazuli and Selen did uh, 1k damage on the dot. Like, they, they're having uh, a blast. <laughs> That's a All right, here we go. Game number five. News and Nagi versus Lazuli and Selen. Will the underdogs get the upset here in game number five? We will find out here swaps. so far. You know, it's looking pretty decent. Red team trying to get some conversion. We haven't seen too crazy uh, anything in terms of team combos, but could change right now. There's this very real feeling that the red team is targeting down Lazuli, though. Lazuli already mm -hmm. deep red, almost 30 seconds in. Like, red team knows this is a low defense legend. They can take it out nice. quick in the side dig for the double. Tag. <laughs> Man. The double tarot side six has just been hitting in this set. <laughs> you know, dude, that's today. That's at least the third one I've seen personally. There's got to be more. That's crazy, man. They they just landing them. It's just one of those moves that hits a little bit further behind than you would think. For the nice I think that's even after they nerf too. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, news, news is news is wild. Playing unarmed on the off stage, but gets back up safely. Wow, crazy play here. Picks up <laughs> that is such a true immediate combo, sig. dude. <laughs> Weapon pickup immediate sig is like <laughs> that's just it's always gonna happen. It'll catch. She, you, right. Your brain just can't register the information fast enough. That's why it's so good. Your brain's still thinking they're unarmed, but Selen mm -hmm. does pick the stomp side what? nice down sig. It's not gonna knock out it does good damage. Like that's what that sig is generally for. Does great damage. Side air bounce is still not enough with nice. the end sig. Not enough. Ground pound. Nagi finally going to fall, but News took a lot of damage. Does get the side air. And I actually like the fact oh. that they went for the conversion into the, the Jala Nutra sig immediately instead of going for like a jump. Do you like gravity cancel into a pass back? Because that's how Lazuli was able to get the KO on the other partner. Yeah, just go for that quick follow up, that quick damage. News has got to be careful here. News is taking a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. Quick get taken out quick. Lazuli, Lazuli. Which team's gonna nice. get the one v one? It's so hard to find out. That recovery is gonna KO Selen. That means it's a two v one for Lazuli. Lazuli burning all the options, but using this platform as a safe spot to refresh their jumps. And now Selen is back. Weapon spawns on the right side. They pick up the hammer. It could be anyone's game. This is so neck and neck. It's between News and Lazuli. Nagi falling there. Bit unfortunate, oh. but it's not terrible. News having to dance around for a moment there. Good avoidance, doesn't get hit. Oh, News is running. He is running and follow converting. Ups, follow ups. Goes for the ground pound, wants to end it. Recovery. Recovery's gonna hit, they're both gone. I it's think a it's gonna be a one v one. Hammer v hammer, Taros v Taros. Nagi with all the movement in the world. Selen misses the cider, Nagi can't punish. Show me your movement. Bait out those attacks. Ooh. Who's gonna get whiff punished first? Nagi getting nervous, gets the side air, selling so damaged. Another side air, and Nagi could oh. win this one. There's oh, the weapon, weapon spawn. Needs to spawn. It's on my left side. Selen, can you get it? Ah, ah. Oh. No, the back swing. I told you it doesn't KO. Oh. No stop. There's a scoop, okay. and Nagi and News clutch out in game number five. A nail biter of a oh. set, and they're going to continue on in the lower <laughs> bracket. That's. That's the way every game file should be. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but double KO happening at the same time to a 1v1 double Taros. Ignorance versus ignorance. Look at that. The recovery. Oh, man. And then, man, this was, this was scary. Because you know this game, this game technically ended. And I'll say technically because that's not what actually happened. But it was at that down sig, right? It was a uh, you had yeah. to know when it was done and where the hitbox was and land up that Axair to win that game. And like honestly, I didn't even think that Selen did it incorrectly. I was like, yeah, this move whiffed. I think you're good to fastball Sair now.